there's 30, I think, what did I count? Like 31 of us because of them. And, um, you know, that's a huge legacy. That's an amazing love story. In October, we introduced you to Nancy and Alfred Cortez. They were battling COVID together at Banner Thunderbird, and the nurses took special steps to make sure their rooms were close. It was a touching story, and we have been hoping for the best. Absolutely, and we are so sad to report tonight that both of them passed away just days apart. Our Kim Powell joining us now. She's been following this heartbreaking story for us, Kim. Uh, yeah, this is uh, terribly sad to say the least. When we first brought you this story, everything was looking up. Alfred was supposed to be getting off the ventilator in time for their 64th wedding anniversary. After he passed, his wife Nancy tried to hold on, but the damage COVID did to her body was just too much. But their daughter says she doesn't know what they could have done differently to prevent catching the virus. Since the day they met in the 1950s, Nancy and Alfred Cortez were inseparable and madly in love hand in hand on their wedding day, hand in hand fighting COVID-19. You are loved. You are loved. More than I can ever say. You have been a wonderful husband. They spent their 64th wedding anniversary hooked up to machines in the COVID unit at Banner Thunderbird. But after a week on a ventilator, Alfred passed away at 87 years old. She really had a will to survive after that she was like you know you can't lose both your parents and she was doing pretty good but within a week nancy's fight with COVID got even harder and she ended up in the icu she died eight days after her husband it doesn't surprise me that they both passed together because it would have been very difficult for them to have been without each other alfred was a handyman who loved to tinker with gadgets Nancy lived for spending time with her family. They were the glue to the legacy they built. It really, it truly was a love story. I mean, we went through all their pictures and, um, you know, just what a life they created. A lifetime of love through sickness and in health. At the very end, she was texting us and she said, I wish I would have taken it more seriously. But, I mean, she, we, she did. I mean, we did thought we thought we were following what we were supposed to do. It's been good. All those years, 60, 64 years together. And it's a long, long time. Their daughter says she was only allowed to uh, go to the hospital to say goodbye, but wishes there was at least a choice to be able to visit your loved ones in the hospital if they're fighting COVID. It's one of the saddest parts about this whole story. It's just another example of how difficult it is for the families as well to deal with this, to watch something like this happen. Kim, I mean, we've been following this. We remember this couple from when you mm -hmm. first brought their story and we're so sad about the way it ended, but we're happy to be able to share some of those beautiful old photos and also a little bit of their life story. So thank you. Our thoughts are with that family tonight. We'll be right back.